Hey guys, how's it going? My name's Dan and welcome to another Mobile Suit Demonstration video. Today I'm going to be covering the beginning 30 Gundam. Let's get started. The body, arms, legs, backpack, the beam rifle and the field shield have IFS unit, which increases optional damage per second by 7500. You can buy the beginning 30 Gundam in HG scale once you've gathered enough of the relevant HG parts. Like most DLC suits, you cannot derive it from anything, but you can find the beginning 30 Gundam in DLC 6 Mission 6 as a boss enemy. Alright, let's see what the beginning Gundam can do. Alright, first off we have the beginning Gundam Beam Saber, a new unique weapon. This uses mostly a mix of various other weapons. The first three hits of the square string are your standard Beam Saber attacks, and the last three hits are actually from the Twin Blade moveset. I don't quite recognise the first two hits of the triangle string, but the last three or so hits are from the Whip's triangle moveset. The aerial square string is the same as the Saber moveset, while the first aerial triangle attack seems to be from the twin blade triangle attack, and after that it seems to be from the oscillating beam sabers from the Aegis Gundam, or the burning slash typhoon from the burning Gundam. It doesn't come in any other variant. Next up is the ranged weapon, the beginning beam rifle. Pressing R2 fires a unique looking string of beam shots. Once it reaches a certain distance, or comes in contact with an enemy, they spread out like a shotgun shot and holding R2 fires beam irradiation. Alright, on to the optionals. First off are the beam sabers on the backpack. It uses most of the same attacks as the normal melee weapon does, while missing a few attacks. Then we have the beam saber plus IFS unit. These are basically funnels that look a lot like destructo discs from Dragon Ball Z. They'll fly around and attack the locked on enemies. For the next three we have the IFS units. Pressing circle while the suit is equipped with a ranged weapon will swing the gun around spreading several green bubbles around, damaging surrounding enemies. Pressing and holding circle will create a beam shield similar to the GN fields in Gundam 00, with the addition of damaging enemies close to you, like the sea funnels when used as a barrier. These are equipped to the arms, legs and backpack. You can stack these shields, but it doesn't seem to do much more damage and all of the barriers would be drained at the same time, so it feels like a waste. And then we have the Beam Vulcans, great when used in conjunction with melee combat. Quickly moving on to the shields, we have the Beginning 30 Shield. Stored within the shields are Beam Sabers. Works just like the optional Beam Sabers, but it's a little bit more awkward to use. And the Field Shield, which works just like the IFS Unit optional weapons. A great little portable shield that also damages close range enemies. And that's everything on the beginning 30 Gundam. I love all of its little gadgets, and it has a few good looking parts, but for the most part, I really don't like how it looks. It just looks like the builder super glued a bunch of those IFS units all over it. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. If you found this video useful or informative, drop it a like, and subscribe to keep up to date with my latest videos. And until next time guys, catch you later.